just say yo guys. Ow, I just pulled my hair. So we finished the fashion show. It was really fun. I really enjoyed it. And all the girls that we met were really nice. And we're actually going on a trip with the same girls. I'm out of breath. I just ran to the hotel room. So I'm gonna edit and I'll see you guys tomorrow because I am giving a speech. Me and Lily are doing a speech about um, a lot of really fun stuff. I picked out my outfit. P.S. Thank you, Great Wolf Lodge, for having us. Our hotel room is literally amazing. Like, can I just... <sighs> Good morning, everyone. It is speech day. Here's my outfit. I'm wearing this red top, my jeans, and these black boots. I'm really excited. And my hair's just in a ponytail. I just did my makeup. And so with that, I would like to welcome Billy Kane. Many mornings I've tried to include a little bit of sweetener in my morning coffee because it's the healthier alternative. But that cup always ends up going down the bathroom sink. I'd like to give you one more example of someone who, despite her age, all odds and all the haters, is flourishing on YouTube and various other platforms. And I promise, I'm not biased at all. But my next example is my little sister, Annie Rose. followers on Instagram and nearly 800,000 on YouTube. When I first started my YouTube channel, I had no idea what I was doing. But over time, as my channel started growing, I started learning and understanding the world that is YouTube. I would say consistency because of the algorithm. Like she said, I didn't start out, you know, a big glamorous YouTuber. I still am not. I mean, sometimes I film, like, in the dark, you know? It's just kind of how it goes. Um, but I think being very authentic is also very important. So if you can take your authentic self, but then on the back end, put a little bit of like consistency, um, a little bit of discipline on yourself, then that will really help you boost off your channel. We'd like, we would have an excuse to see each other every week. First of all, we saw each other every single Wednesday around 5 p.m. to like 7 p.m. And we would film a really fun challenge video, something we could like eat a lot of food or something really fun. So honestly, at first for me, it started out with, I want to do this with my best friend. We're going to have so much fun. I think doing it with a friend is so much fun. So honestly, the whole thing started out as like a hobby. The same reason why you guys do cheerleading, soccer, swimming, literally anything that you enjoy. That's what I did. Little did I know it could be a career. Because I was only, you know, nine, I wasn't thinking about that. It was just purely out of fun, and I think that's the best way to start. And for me, I saw her success and how much she loved it, and I just wanted a part of it. I was like, give me some. I want a piece of that cake. So I just watched her. By watching Annie doing all this, I kind of fell in love with it from the sidelines, and then I decided to, you know, stick my toes in and then jump my full body into the water. What are your favorite editing apps or programs, and how big is personality? How important can you tell about personality and how whether it's important or not? Sure. So to answer the first question, for me, I actually use iMovie, and then I transfer the file over to Final Cut Pro. Um, so I started out using iMovie as well because it honestly iMovie is great. It's simple. Like I know some huge YouTubers that use iMovie. Alright guys, we finished this speech, it was so fun, and now I'm waiting for my Dunkin' Donuts. We're actually going to leave, because literally, we literally, I can't speak, uh, literally we finished our speech, and now we have to go to the airport, because we got to get home, my sister's going out of town, and I just want to get home. I have my travel outfit back on, we checked out of the hotel and everything, the, ho the speech was so much fun. Oh, I'm getting my coffee, I've never really got something from Dunkin' Donuts, except like once, and they're making my coffee right now, and I'm really excited. I forgot to ask for a small. <laughs> Look at how that is. Mm. So good. By the way, the oh, ah! fashion show is so fun. Like, it wasn't what I was expecting because I thought it was gonna be like like a catwalk thing. And then closer to the time, my mom told me that we were gonna be like outside. And then I was like, oh, okay. 
So when we got there, it wasn't what I was expecting at all. And like the outfits and everything, it was just crazy. But then it ended up being so much fun. I loved having like the little surf surfboard or skateboard or whatever. I'm not very athletic, as you can tell. Yeah, it was really fun. I have some fun plans with Hope this week. Hopefully it works out, so stay tuned for vlogs. All right, it's here, Lulu, are you sad to leave? Yeah. Are you excited to go home? Yeah. <laughs> This has never happened to me. That's I'm so, so stressed. Sad. My back. What? Wow. It's probably makeup. Oh, no. Right. I'm so stressed. It's okay. They only threw away my perfume. So sad, but like, at least they didn't throw away my. One time though, I was going to New York and I had just bought some $75 setting spray. Was it Urban Decay? Yeah, literally yeah. four days before and I hadn't used it and they took it away from me. happy like I'm literally just about to go to sleep we literally just got home and it just got dark and I'm going straight to bed I love you guys thank you so much for everything the fashion show was amazing the speech was amazing I love Gen Z and uh, I'm waking up early tomorrow to edit this so I'll see you guys tomorrow no not tomorrow on Thursday I love you guys <laughs>